Sandra! What? What? Oh my goodness. Wait, why did you bring him to our bedroom? If you wanted to romance or have sex with a man, why didn't you do it in his room? The guest room. Why bring him here? What is Sandra, you are, you, are, you are disgusting and irritating. Enough. I'm ashamed of you. You're a disgrace to womanhood. What are you saying? I, I have equal rights to do so. I can decide to bring a guest just like you. Don't you bring men here? Don't you? You think I don't know? Wait, wait. Uh, he's now your man? Yes. Officially? He is my man now. So you watch how you talk to him. Thank you. You're shameless. Your family should be ashamed of you. You are a disgrace to your family. Damn! What? Enough, Lucy. This plant thing. Stop insulting see me. See how he. See how he even opened his leg. I said, close that leg. You want to spread your legs in your guest room? No sense. You're so irritating and disgusting. Enough! Please. Please. I've had enough of your insults. You cannot keep disrespecting me. Not in front of my man. I will not take it. Who is One the man? Time. Who is the man? This blind thing. This blind bat. Be shameless. Your attitude is disgusting. No wonder you are still. Who want to put up with a bad character? You see, it's all lies. Will you forgive yourself? Will you take the pains back? I don't understand why you must be hard. What's wrong? You barely even touched your food. And there is no solution to my eyes. Why can't you pick someone that can help you, that can contribute to your life and not be a burden like you? I just do you know how much I hate hearing you complain? You're not, you're not a burden to me, okay? And you need to stop worrying about what people think. <sighs> just, just that's bad. Nothing. Okay? Just nothing. I love you. And that's all that matters. You always say love is the ultimate, right? Then why don't you apply it in this case? It's just that I don't know how people who think when they see a high class woman, they fall pick up in myself. Let me worry about that. Love covers everything. Okay? Okay? Clementinos. <laughs> What is happening here? What are you doing here? Wait a minute. Are you the blind beggar my friend told me lives here with them? Yes, I am. What? Are they your friends? Yes, they are. Jesus. What is going on? Sit down. Let me explain to you. Please. Clement. So you are the blind man that I've been getting to see so pissed? Yes, I am. But I'm here for a reason. And I need you to listen to me. Okay. You know what I've been through in my past relationships? You know now. You know, the last relationship that almost took my life. Only the name of relationship and love. All these women just want my money, what I have, my wealth. 
I want something different. So I'm here on a mission. I want a woman who will love me for who I am. I just need you to play along. And I promise I will reward you. Just play along. Keep things quiet. And let me finish what I came here for. Fleming, but why? You are not in Ilumia. How could you have reduced yourself to this level all because of love? Because true love is what I crave. That's what I crave. That's what I want. Dora, you know it's not been easy for me. I want something real. I want a woman that loves me for who I am, not because of what I have. And I can't find that if I don't do what I'm doing. Yes, it was Sandra that brought me to this house. But the moment I came here and I saw Lucy, I fell in love with her. Her beauty is so magnificent. She's the epitome of everything I want to know. She's perfect. But her attitude is dark. And then I remembered what my mother tells me. That the beauty of a woman is not in her physical appearance, but in her attitude. The one who I don't love, Sandra, is the one who is showing me all the love and kindness. So I'm only here for some time, hoping that Lucy can change her mind. And until then, I will wait. If she doesn't, by the time I make my decision, then I will go ahead with Sandra. But Tom, I need you to be relaxed and play along. Don't. Please. I will go with you. It's a promise. It's okay. I understand the story very well. I'll feel like Good. It's a deal. Good. But are you sure what you're doing? <laughs> it's fine. I'll just stay out and wait for you. I just hope you know what you're doing. I'll be outside. Hi. Outside. That foolish blind man refused to allow you in. Oh, the gate man told me you get out. So I decided to stop. I see. Stop going. Excuse us. 
song was I'll stop killing me The life that we live is not a play Let's go and it's as easy as it The life that we live is like a rain That's cause we need some season day I wouldn't let my past Okay, back So what is this now? Sandra, Lucy is so angry and bitter that you brought in a frustrated blind man to live in this house. Frustrated? I don't understand. He is not frustrated. Okay? He has a name. His name is Clement and I appreciate it if you address him by his name. I will not have you or anyone else disrespect my man right in front of me. Okay. Whatever you choose to call him. But Lucy is not comfortable by his continuous stay in this house. Lucy, is that true? Obviously true. You know I'm a very blunt person. I will say things as it is. You practically begged me to allow you to bring this blind man into this house. You explained the circumstances surrounding him. And I accepted. You told me he wasn't going to stay for long. As it is. He has ever stayed, is welcome. I want him out of this house. I begged you to give me more time. I am expecting money. Sandra, I am not giving you any more time. I want him out of this house. I have exercised my patience. I want him out. You should pack his things and get out. So you've heard that. But why on earth will you bring in such a man into this house? Did you even ask questions before you brought him here? Do you know if he's a spirit? Did you ask questions? Did you? Well, maybe I didn't ask questions, but I know for a fact that he is not a spirit. He is human. What are you even saying? I love him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear you, sir. Yes, I do. He is a good man. Blind or not, he is a good man. A prayerful man. A God-fearing man. It's my interest to know that ever since he came to this house, he has never stayed one day without praying. Without saying thank you, God. I mean, Miss Judgmental here, on the other hand, I have never seen her go to church and we have known each other for so many years. She has not even said a prayer since I met her. And as of the way I met him, I saw him on the road begging people for money. Excuse me, please. Um, are you talking to me? Oh, yes, yes, madam. Please, I need your help. Well, uh, but I just gave you money. What more do you want? I know. You see, I'm blind and I have friends that bring me from my house to this place. And sometimes some people that can help me take me back. Please, can you help me take me to my place? Uh, I'm actually in the haste. I want to make photocopies, then go back to the office. Can't you get someone else to do this? Please, I'm hungry and the sun is too much. I just want to go home. It's not far from here. It will only take a, a, a little time. Please. Say it's not far from here. Yes, okay. please. Please. Okay. 
God bless you. You give me the direction. Do I, you know your way around? I know some areas that I used to know the side. I, I know it's this side I came from. Oh, it's just direct me, okay? Okay. Give me the description rather. Easy. So I I followed him to where he was in. He needed to have seen the dungeon he was living in. No human should have to live that way. So I I took pity on him. What? This is this is where you live? Yes. Um, thank you so much for bringing me here. I can find my way from here. Uh, you can't stay here. What if you get harmed? I don't mind if there's a snake or animal that can bite me. As long as there's a roof over my head and I'm, I'm, I'm okay. What about your friends, your family, your relatives, anyone you can live with? Don't you have someone you can stay with? Your parents. They passed away a long time ago. It's just me suffering. I'm actually a product of the streets. Sometimes I have people that help me take me to the junction where I beg and then they bring me back. But thank you. Thank you for helping me. I, I can find my way. I don't want to keep you here. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Uh, what if I offered to give you a better shelter, a safe roof over your head? I don't even know you. you I just met you. I, I, please, I don't understand. You want to give me a better shelter? Yes, I don't mind. I don't know you. Please, I'm scared. No, 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 I, I, no, no, I don't. No. I don't understand. You don't. You don't have to be scared, okay? You can trust me. You're safe with me. I, I just want to help. I can't leave you here. No one should live like this. Just trust me, okay? Hmm? Stay here. That was how I met him. No, Dora, can you see that Sandra is shameless and classless? A poor beggar on the street is who she chooses to romance with. Anyways, that's none of my business. All I know is he has to leave this house or you are going to give me my money for me to get another apartment. What? Dora, please beg her. Lucy, please. I know he has overstayed the time that you gave us. But I'm begging you, I can't send him back to the streets now. It's late for that because I've fallen in love with him. That's nonsense. Anyways, I don't care if you're in love with him. He has to go. Agreement is an agreement. I am never going to let him stay in this house. He has to leave. Sandra, since Lucy is insisting, then you have no choice than to send him away. After all, you gave us an agreement, so you have to stick to that. I, I still remember the terms of the contract and agreement. I know what the contract says. But I am begging you, please, Lucy, you're my friend. Give me a little time. Be patient. I told you I'm expecting money from an investment that I did. And once I cash out, I will even travel out of this country. And guess what? You get to keep my properties. Please, my love, please. <laughs> so you are planning on leaving the country with him? <laughs> of course, I I plan on flying abroad for proper surgery. Lucy, please. I'm begging on Just just give them time. Just give them time to arrange themselves. Please. Why I don't understand this? Lucy. What do you mean, Lucy? Is everything okay? Did I damage anything? Why would you barge into my room without knocking? 
Since you were seen, you would have seen my nakedness. Sorry, please. Don't be offended. I'm looking for my love. Please get out from this place. Your love is not here. Go out there and look for her. You can't stay in one place. I've never seen a blind man that moves from one pillar to the other, from pillar to post, from post to pillar. You cannot just sit your ass in one place. I don't know what you're looking for. Stop telling me you're sorry. Get out, please. You're still standing there. Get out. Go. Go, 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 go. Will you forgive go. yourself? Will you take the pains back? I don't understand why you must be hard on me I don't get this Tell me why Why I don't understand this Can't you see Yes Can't you see Talk to me about what? to talk to you about is important. It is for your own good. I'm, I am blind. I don't know what you look like. But I can tell that you are a beautiful woman. I can feel it. And I want to talk to you about the area of your character. A good character is what defines a woman. When a woman has a good behavior, it can give her a good job, a good husband. It can take her far in life more than she expects. Wait, hold on. I don't get it. Are you saying I have a bad character? Who are you to advise me? Am I your girlfriend? Please, please don't misunderstand. As I said, a good woman is defined by a good behavior. You see, when you have a good behavior, people talk to you. People feel comfortable. Will you shut up your mouth? Are you stupid? Are you out of your mind? What do you know about morals? Who are you to give me advice? No, who are you to tell me how to live my life? What's your business with my life? Hey, I have suffered. I don't blame you at all. I'm trying to help you. What I'm saying is important for you. No man will marry a woman with a questionable character. Ah! How dare you tell me to have a questionable character? How dare you insult me? Wow. You see, you slapped me. I'll slap you again if you open your stupid mouth and talk to me. You slapped me because I'll I gave you an advice. Keep your stupid advice to yourself and I'll slap you again. What, what is this? What is going on here? She slapped me. She slapped me. Is, is that true? You slapped me. Why would you slap me? If you ask me stupid question again, I'll beat you. How dare you slap my man? It's your man. How dare you lay your shitty hands on my man? You stupid Are you, Are you mad? How dare you? Let, let me go. I'm Let's go! Baby! Let's go! Honestly, I cannot take this anymore. What nonsense is this? I've had it up to here with Lucy. Why would she be slapping you? What is, what is the, the meaning of all this? Listen, the next time she will lay her filthy hands on you, I swear to God, I will inflict some serious injuries on her. I don't care if she's my friend, though. I will not take her hitting you at all. What rubbish is this? What did I even do to her? Nothing. I just gave her advice that will help her in life and she slaps me. Baby, I want you to do something for me. What is it? Anything? Please take me back to my poor home. At least there I have peace of mind. No, babe. You know I can't do that. You don't, you don't belong there. Listen, just 
and ignore Lucy, okay? I promise you'll stop. I can't let you go now. Not now that I've fallen deeply in love with you and I've grown so fond of you. If you leave, I can't leave, I can't leave a minute without you. I'm sorry, I, know, I can't do that. I know you love me, but the insult is too much. That woman, Lucy, does not want anything good for me. Just ignore her, okay? I want the best for you. Ignore her. Please, baby. I'm already processing your visa and soon all this will be over. You don't have to. You don't have to pay attention to her. You know how much I love you. You know that you mean the world to me. Soon as you bring home a wheelbarrow pusher. You know, I regret having you as a friend because you don't have class at all. You are poor and still mingling with the poor. Isn't that ridiculous? How is that any of your damn business? Hmm? How does it concern you who I decide to date? If I like, I'll be with a madman, a blind man, a deaf. How is that your business? Oh, it's beginning to be clear now. You're jealous, aren't you? Yes, you are. Jealous of who? You're jealous, aren't you? Of him. Oh, of the both of you, are you serious right now? You, with all the wealth you have and class in the world, where is your husband? Hmm? It's not your bad character that made Edwin to dump you, isn't it? Dump you. I will not watch you talk to me that way. Oh, but you can talk to my no, man. You're talking you to me really because of this trash, yes. because of this thing. You're I... single, but you're, you're single to stupid because of your bad character. I have no words for you. Enjoy your poor blind beggar. Why are you drinking my own my head? Next time you lay your hands on him, that one I that class is sitting in the small one. What will you do? The next time mm -hmm. you touch my man, you will beat you. I have been ignoring you. I, will beat you I have been ignoring you. you. Beat you to a pulp. You, you see, I will frustrate him until he will pack his things I'll and leave the house. Frustrate you, you, until you live my life. Both of you are too small for me. See, I will beat you. Uh, okay. Don't touch my okay. man again, Lucy. What? Let I me. have been quiet enough. Be quiet. I have ignored you. I have tolerated you enough. See this, Lucy. If you do it again, my. I will trash him out of this house. You don't know who I am. We'll see about that. No. You're going to see another me very me soon. Again. Okay. Touch me again. I'll touch him. We'll see about Soon as try it. You hear this voice. Slap. I will give you back left you center. You don't know how to make money. You can't do anything. Oh wow. I'll beat you like a cop. I'll kick you like a boy. Okay. You don't know me. Right. Maybe. We'll see about that. Try it again. I've been quiet. I've been quiet. Lucy. I've had it up to here. Lucy, my friend, I know you're really angry at the moment, but please, I want you to calm down. Temper justice with mercy. Fine. I know Sandra didn't do well by bringing him into the house, but please, you have to change your attitude towards this young blind man. I don't understand you, Tara. Why should I trade my happiness for someone I don't like? Why should I even change my attitude towards someone I hate with so much passion? I detest him. Everything about him irritates and disgusts me. You see, I know you're not comfortable with him being here. But at least give him a sense of belonging. Because no one knows tomorrow. Don't even go there. It is that sense of belonging I don't want to even hear. What is wrong with you? That guy is low class. I cannot find myself associating myself with a low class person. Just look at him. You know what? Tell him to leave my house. Okay, let me tell you. Do you know this kind of people that you are rejecting usually brings luck to people? Yes. And you can achieve greatness by helping the poor. Achieve greatness by helping that one? God forbid. That one that can barely feed himself. He was picked up from the street, you know. See, it's better to be crippled than to be blind. Blind people don't see. Maybe you don't understand what it means. They stress you all your life. Everywhere they go, you have to always guide them. I don't want stress. Please, tell him to leave my house. And I'm not joking about it. Do you really hate this guy this much? I detest him. And that's why I'm giving him all the attitude. I want him to leave. I want him to be irritated and leave my house. I want to make this house very uncomfortable for him so that one day he will just wake up and disappear into thin air. We'll see. Yeah. Clarence, what's your name? Are you 
Okay. Yes, why did you break it? I didn't, I didn't know. <gasps> I didn't know it was then. What is it? I hear you scream. I, I think... I, what? I think I broke somebody's phone. I'm not sure. Please, can you check? Oh my goodness. This guy has killed me. You broke the screen of my expensive phone. This is 14 Pro. This phone is millions. To Your so-called generation summed up together cannot afford this phone. Your girlfriend cannot afford it! What is wrong with you? Lucia. Are you stupid? Lucy, I think it was a mistake. He said it's so. Oh, mistake! What? Are you, are you stupid? Ah! 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 Lucy! What was that for? Clement. Clement, are you okay? Lucy is bleeding. Clement. I don't know what came over me. Lucy, what do we do? Lucy, go call the gate man. Let's take him to the hospital now! Lucy, oh, why is she calling? Hello, Lucy. Hello? How is it? Please, stop calling me. Lucy, you're so wicked and heartless. How can you do such a thing to your family? You are so heartless. As a matter of fact, he's still unconscious. Just pray nothing happens to him. Hey. What have I done? What have I gotten myself into? This whole thing would have been avoided if someone had sent that boy out of this house. I, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want him to die. Oh. What have I done? What have I done? <sighs> Imagine what you're subjecting yourself into just because you want to find true love. What if she had killed you? Dora, you know finding a life partner is one of the hardest things in life. You know. Some people have done way much just so they can find true love. Oh my god, Dora. What happened to him? How is he? He's not fine. He has been in pain since we came here. God, what is all this? Why would Lucy do this to him under your watch? Why would she do this? I swear to God, I'll, I'll go home and comfort her. I want to know why she would do this to my love. Sandra, this is not the time to fight. Rather, you should stand by him and pray for his quick recovery. Baby, please. If you love me, be silent about this and pretend like nothing happened. How would you expect me to be silent when a fellow woman did this to you? I should fold my hands and let someone else maltreat you and lay her filthy hands on my man. There's no way I'll let this go. How can she be wicked? Why would she do this? What if she had killed him? It's okay. Baby, baby, as I said, if you truly love me, just pretend you don't take my back. No, I'm not happy with this decision at all. Just allow me to go home and give her the peace of my mind. Just for a mere phone. Can a phone be compared to a human life? Is it because he's blind? Why would she be so wicked and callous towards him? This is becoming too much and I'm not going to take it. It's Will you forgive yourself? Will you take the pains back? I don't understand why you must be hard on me. I don't get it. I'm so sorry. I know how you feel about this whole thing. It wasn't intentional. I don't know what came over me. I think it's the devil. Look, 
it damaged my phone screen, my expensive phone. I didn't know what to do. I'm, I'm so sorry. How is he? Is he conscious? I just pray nothing happens to him. So now forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm so... Talk to me now. Sandra. Sandra. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Henceforth, I will accept you wholeheartedly. I'm really sorry. Sandra, please forgive me. It wasn't intentional. Lucy, it is one thing to bear, it is another thing to forgive. Well, since you say you're truly sorry, and I have no choice but to forgive you, it is okay. Thank you so much. So, I want to bore you. Ain't you going to say anything? Your man has forgiven me. I forgive you too, as long as. It doesn't repeat itself again. It will not repeat itself again. I promise. In fact, I'm a changed person now. I've turned a new leaf. Thank you. So, Clement, how are you? Have you had anything to eat? I'm feeling better. Much better now. Thank you. I'll get him something to eat. No, no. You don't have to stress yourself. Let me just go and get it. Don't worry about it, okay? We just got here. Can't you see that I'm blind? Can't you see that I'm blind? Can't you see that I'm blind? Take life easy of me. I'm not the cause of your problem. Take life easy. Clement, you're welcome. Sandra, well done. Uh, Ken, what would you like to eat so I can quickly go into the kitchen and make something for you? This lady has suddenly changed. Is this actually from her heart? Is there something fishy? Anyway, whatever it is, I won't eat any of her food until I am sure she is truly changed. Clement, I'm waiting. What do you want to eat? Um, um, Lucy, don't worry yourself, okay? I'll fix him something to eat. No, you don't have to stress yourself. You both just came back from the hospital. You're stressed already. Let me just make something for him to eat. I care. Like I said before, don't worry. I'll do it myself, okay? She took her fiance to the hospital for a checkup. She is. 
finish up the films. She never mentioned such to me. Mama, your daughter saw a beggar, a blind man on the street and brought him to the house. In fact, she said it's the man she'll get married to. As we speak, they are both planning to get married. God forbid! Blind man? What for? my dead body. It will never happen. If it is charm, I will make sure I clear it off her head. What kind of nonsense is that one? Eh? Mm. Mama, I have been talking to your daughter. I have been advising Sandra, but she insisted she must get married to the man. To a blind man. I don't understand. What is really going on? That will never happen. It's over my dead body. It's over my dead body. That will never happen. Ah, ah. What? Did she not see all those rich guys? Eh? I wonder. Why would she choose a blind man? No. No. Mama, what can I offer you? Don't you worry yourself. Let me stay and go for you. Mama, they're here. You came to destroy my, my daughter's destiny. Tell them that you didn't say that. Ah! Mama, I don't like the way you have to get my fiance. Fiance, you don't know. Are you okay? Over my dead body. It will never happen. It will never happen. Ah! Do you know what I passed through in training you? I tied one rapper. More rapper, just to make you comfortable. And this is all you can bring you. Now, let's go inside. Yes! I have finally achieved my aim. I can see that war is about to begin. Let me see if that stupid claimer will not pack his things and leave this house. If my plan fails, I'll come up with plan B. I can't leave him standing under the sun. Oh, really? Are you by any means trying to disrespect your mother? That carried you for nine solid months. Eh? Let's go Mama, inside. I am not trying to disrespect you. But it's not fair to just leave you standing here alone. Mama, stop it. Stop. Why are you being so dramatic? Oh, I am dramatic. Mom, I am dramatic. You know what I passed through. We training you into the university. And all you could come back is with this miserable person. A blind mind for that matter. Eh? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! No, stop. Stop. Very shameless. If you are not shameless, Mama, stop it. Mama, stop. Stop, stop. stop us. Don't touch me that way. Sandra, mm -hmm. do you remember when your father died? You were only back four years old. Do you remember? Yes, Mama. Do you remember I single-handedly trained you up in this university? Under the sun and rain. Do you also remember that? Yes, Mama, I remember. Then, why do you choose to marry a blind man? By bringing a perpetual suffering onto me. Why? Mama. Mama, how old am I? 35. Good. And how old were you when you got married? 
24. Okay, ma. If you minus 24 from 35, that's 11 years. 11 good years that I searched for a good man to marry. 11 good years I've been waiting for, for a God-fearing man to come and seek for my hand in marriage. Now that I've found someone who loves and cherishes me, you don't want to support him simply because he's blind? Mama, all we need is your support. I want me to support you. I want me to support you to marry a blind man. Is that what you want me to do? Well, there's nothing God cannot do. Now, listen and listen to me. Look at me, eyeball to eyeball. I can never and never support you to marry a blind man. Did you just hear me? I cannot do that. Never! someone like you. I'm asking you. Madam, there is no charm. Your daughter and I we love each other very much. Love kill you dear. Love kill you dear. You don't know who to love, right? Madam, your daughter is a very nice person. She's loved me since the day we met. Oh. Even though I rejected her at first. Really? Did you see what I was saying? Oh! You mean my daughter was the one that approached you and you rejected her? why I said that the native doctor who prepared the charm is a very strong one. Is it not on a normal ground? How can my daughter stoop so low to love someone like you? I'm asking How? Because this thing we call love is very strong. Mama, it is very strong. I cancel that love between both of you in Jesus' name. You, man, Listen and listen, God. Whatever charm, name it what? Even your name. I don't want to know. Whatever thing that you have done between my daughter and you, it will never work out. The marriage will not work out, bro. It will not work out. Do you just hear me? Wherever my daughter picks you from, tell her to return you back to place. Because it will never work out. It will never and ever work. Sandra is the only one I have. And I cannot sit, watch her, put herself into bondage in the name of nonsense marriage. Poverty upon poverty. How dare you? Rubbish! Oh God, why is the poor always rejected in the society? May God help the poor. I don't know the kind of charm he used on my daughter. Honestly, I don't know why my daughter would stoop so low to that kind of human being. Exactly what I've been saying, Mama. That boy is a devil. He claims to be an orphan. He claims he doesn't have relatives, no father, no mother. 
But I know he's up to something. Mama, there's something weird about that boy. I don't know what is wrong with my daughter. Honestly, this is not ordinary. Mama, you have to do everything you can to inject that boy out of this house. Do you know one night I caught this boy making enchantments? Hmm? He didn't know I was looking at him. He was calling names of evil spirits and masquerades. Mama, I have never been scared all my life. The environment was cold as it was enchanting. Mama, his eyes were opened. It was a scary experience, Mama. Even me, I was scared. How I slept that night is still beyond my imagination. Mama, I feel that boy is seriously on a mission. And if care is not taken, he will kill your daughter. Mama, if anything happens to Sandra, nobody should call my name. Because I have been talking and advising, nobody wants to give me listening ears. Mama, do all you can to send that boy out of this house before it's too late. Lucy, don't worry. I am not a mad person. I am not mad. No way. I must make sure he leaves this house. Eh? He must leave this house by all costs. I don't care whether he comes from River Niger or Benue. He must leave. Mama, do you know since that boy stepped his foot into this house, we've been experiencing bad luck in our workplaces? Hmm? Mama, that boy has to be ejected from this house. Mama, do something and be very fast about it before it's too late. Lucy, leave that for me. Leave that for me. He will surely leave this house soon. Definitely. Sandra, stop that rubbish. End it now. Foolish girl. Talk about Imagine the way you allow my daughter to be feeding you with her own food. Food you never contributed a dime. happen. It's better you pick your tent and leave this place. Besides, where have you seen a blind man eating on a dining? Eh? If not on the street. Stop! Stop it. I don't like the way you are talking to my love. Did you call him what? Love? This blind thing. Over my dead body. It will not work. Don't you know you being attached to him is a work to the family and even a bad work. It will not work. Mr. Daydreamer, it won't work out. Mama, love is the ultimate. That is what is most important in marriage. Not the look of a man. Senseless. Yes. Who told you that natural look does not count in marriage? As for me, it counts. Besides, blindness is a curse. Mama, stop it. I don't like the way you're humiliating my man. Stop humiliating him. Really? What? Mama, why did you do that for? Mama. Stupid. You are a shameless idiot. Who is so Shame of yourself. Please take it easy with me. You have to be with 
your words. Oh. I'm hurting you with my words. What is my business with your feelings and every other thing? Hence, you don't want to live in peace. I will make sure you live in pieces. Mama, please just take it easy with me. You know my condition. Which condition? You go, Dika. Huh? I don't want ever to see you here again. I know you are not seeing Ruth. You would have seen how pretty my daughter is. This is not where you belong to. It's not your class. Go out there and don't ever come here again. Have I made myself clear? Now get up. Get up. Get up and leave this place. Mama, why would you send him away? I can't tolerate that nonsense. Not when I'm still alive. He has to leave and never to come back again. Is that why you will send him back to the streets? I have sent him outside. That's where he belongs. Beggars are for the streets. Mama, mm -hmm. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like it at all. Why are you like this, Mama? Don't you have any compassion? Don't you feel any pity for the poor blind man? Why are you adding to his pain, Mama? I don't like what you're doing and you're hurting my emotions. Oh, really? The same way you are hurting me when I see you around that blind beggar. Sandra, I give birth to you and you must to listen to me. Clement or whatever they call him is no longer welcome in this house. Simple. He has to live. That's it. I'll say about that. Sandra! Sandra! Everything you see, it's all lie. Will you forgive yourself? Will you you went back and brought him against my wish. Okay, it's obvious you are asking me to leave your house. And I will definitely leave. Yes! I didn't say that, but don't if worry. you want to, fine. Okay, no problem. Baby, are you sure you made the right decision? I don't want any problems with your mother, please. Okay, I made the best decision. It's you I want. She must learn to love you, okay? Hmm? Sandra! Thank you very much. I am leaving. I don't want to see you and this blind bat in the village. Because I'm going to tell all the king's men what I have seen in this place. Yes! What you have seen? Yes! What did you see in this place? Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. worry. Mama, don't eat me. Stop it. You are going to call the woman now, me, because I did what exactly? Because I fell in love with a blind man. Is that a taboo now? Is that a taboo? Please, I don't want you to have problems with your mother. Please, okay. are you sure you made the right decision? She will be fine. I made the best decision, okay? Don't be on the Come down, take life easy. It doesn't work like that. You gotta work for you to eat. So just know that you got to take life easy. Cause it doesn't work like that. Everything you see, 
It's all lie Will you forgive yourself? Will you take the pains down? I don't understand why you must be hard uh, Why me? Why is this happening to me? This is too much Why are you crying? Maybe I'm finished. What happened? Talk to me. You maybe, not, maybe I can help. You don't understand. Even if I tell you, there's no way you can help me. Baby, please, thank you. I don't like to hear you cry. Just talk to me. Ah, what finished, happened? I'm finished. I'm finished. God, what do I do? Baby, what is it? <laughs> ah, God. Baby, no, what is it now? Just talk to me, please. Just tell me. Baby. I have been relieved of my duties in the office. What? That's my job. What did you do? I don't even know. It happened so fast. I, I can't lay my hands on anything. Okay, I made one simple mistake and my ND got mad and he fired me. He fired me. He fired me. No, 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 no. This cannot happen to us. Why me? God. This cannot happen to us. No, not at this time. Baby, you know what? Please just take me to your MD. Please. Why? So that I can apologize on your behalf. I cannot just relieve you of your job like that now. It's not possible. I just think you can help me. You don't understand. Like, you can't help me at this point. I lost my job. Baby, baby. I have lost my job. Baby. My only source of income. What would I be doing now? Okay, just pull yourself together. Okay, be strong. I trust God, everything is going to be fine. Please, they're, they're going to call you back. I, I believe God. Let us just believe God. Let's believe God. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, be strong. I don't like to hear you cry. Please, be strong. Please. Please. Why is this happening to me? Why now? What's my job? I had high hopes on getting money from this job to sponsor your overseas for your for your eye surgery. Now I've lost the job. My only source of income. How am I supposed to raise funds for you? How? The devil has destroyed my plans on trying to help you to regain your sight. What do I do now? Why is this happening to me? Please stop crying. Please. Please stop crying. God will make you wait. He sees everything. Make your way and perfect our plans, our desires. Why is God doing this to me? No, He doesn't. If He does, then you would have seen the effort I've been trying to put in, trying to help you to gain your sight. Why didn't He stop this from happening if He sees everything? I'm confused myself. I know that we must trust God. We must. I wish there was something I could do to get us out of this. But there's nothing I can do. Just have to trust God. What do I do now? It was not right. Sandra, you're not supposed to be crying now. Stop crying, okay? I don't know if your mom has told you this. I heard People who are disfigured, like the deaf, the dumb, the lame, one blind, one eye people, you know, the blinds that they carry bad luck about. And um, anybody who is around them will always experience setback. The other day, he destroyed my phone screen, my expensive phone. Now you have lost your job. Can't you see? The signs is boldly written on the wall. Clement is evil. Stay away from him. He, he has bad luck. Lucy. Lucy, what have I done to you for you to talk to me like this in front of my face? If you had said this behind my back, that's fine. For you to say this in front of me. But you know I have feelings. Here's about your feelings. The truth has to be told. Act wisely. Don't say I did not Lucy, warn you. Can you stop already? This is not the time for this. Okay. I said my own. Just, 
Pregnant for him? Yes, I am pregnant for him. Why now? Why now that I am broke? Everything I saved from my job, I used it in processing his travel document for his eye surgery. I have nothing to my name. I am confused. What do I do? What do I do with this pregnancy? No job, no money. How do I cope? Hey! What did you say? My goodness. Abomination! Wait, wait. How do you think your family will react when they hear that you are pregnant for a blind man? Let me think. Will they be proud or not? Obviously, they will not be proud. Sandra, you are a disgrace to womanhood. I am ashamed of you. Lucy, stop! Which one is Lucy, stop! Can't you hear the nonsense she's spewing from her mouth? They really say mad people are never ashamed, but your families are on their behalf. Did I complain to you? Why are you complaining on my behalf? Hmm? Obviously, you will not complain because you are dating a blind man. Anyways, I heard you are now bankrupt. Don't come and ask me to borrow you money because obviously I will not. Hey! From the look of things, are you sure you're not going to give birth to a blind man? What? God forbid. Which one is God forbid? Are you not sleeping with a blind man? Obviously, the result will be a blind child. Can you even hear? Simple arithmetic. Wow. It's all your level of education. Look at what you're spewing. Does that even make sense to you? Wait. So like this now, you be a mother to the blind child. You don't have class in your tongue. To if if I don't belong to to the league of classy chicks anymore, blind man, blind child. Ah, oh. I don't believe them. You see, can you just stop? Can you see what I've been going through? Sandra, where's your fiance? I need to see him right now. He's at the back here. What is he doing there? He said it was okay. I'll be back. I need to see you. Look, Clement. I am no longer comfortable with this game of yours. And you have to end it now. Can't you see she's going through pains? Now that she's pregnant for you, how do you expect her to raise money for your feeding now that she has gone bankrupt? Clement, you have to tell her the truth. Else, I will have no other option than to expose everything. Dora, you won't do that. Listen to me. You know what I've been through in my past relationships. I can't make the same mistake twice. I need to be sure she really loves me. I know. But it's so obvious that she loves you, and you can see that for yourself. Can't you see she's suffering? Stay away from my path! 
Lucy, I said I did not see you. Is that why you had to slap me? I will slap you again if you open your dirty mouth and talk back at me. But I did not see you. I want you to stay in one place. Don't you dare raise your hand against me again. What is going on here? Your useless blind bat just poured my juice on the floor. He has to replace it. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Every time you tell me to forgive me, there's no forgiveness and you should replace it. Ah, uh, what's all this nonsense now? Why can't you just... Yes, I am not blind. What? And don't you ever raise your hand against a man like me, otherwise I will deal with you! You're not blind. I am Clementinos Nigeria Limited. You dare not raise your hand against me. You are Clementinos, the billionaire everyone is talking about in town? Yes, who I am. Wait, what? You, you mean you've not been blind all this while? You have been pretending to be blind all this time? Why? I can explain. You can explain, please. How would you do this? I am mean, you're here to go for true love. True love? You wicked Clement! You watched me struggle. You watched me suffer. All for what? For what exactly? To what aim? Don't touch me! Unbelievable! You're a billionaire and you've been living as a copper in this house? Very right, sir. Welcome. Thank you. What's this? What is this? Uh, Madam, you have between them two most of the premises. I don't want a wicked soul like you in my property. Are you ready? Don't be no, you this is a dream you want to wake up. No, oh, you want to wake up. Well, let me let you know that this is as real as the air that you breathe. It's a breathe. Because you're living in this house. It's such a wicked soul. Sandra! Sandra! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. while and you watched me struggle. You watched me suffer. For what reason? I'm sorry. You're sorry. Please, I can explain. Oh my God. Sandra, please, I have been a victim of love. I have made so many mistakes. You have no idea what it means to be me and all the mistakes I have made with love. The last relationship I was in over here was in love with her. I gave her everything. I showered her with all kinds of wealth. She made away with my money. 80 million naira to date. I haven't gotten it back. I showed her with all kinds of gifts. 30 million naira for our engagement. I splashed. Went down the dream. Went down the dream. I suffered. I thought she loved me, but she didn't. Meanwhile, I gave my heart. I went through hell trying to come out of that feeling, that heartbrokenness, trying to recover from it. So I made a promise. Never again, if I'm ever going to fall in love, that, that woman is going to pass through my test. She will pass through my test of love. My darling, that's what you've gone through. And I'm sorry that you had to suffer. I'm really sorry, but I'm so glad that we're here. Please. 
Please are we talk to your barista not to send me out of this house. I don't have anywhere to go, please. I'm so sorry. It's it's the work of the devil. Please. Meg. Meg. Hmm? Oh, now I'm. I've got Clement. You said you know your companions. Heartless, resorting to the cause. I'm no, sorry. It's the devil's work, of course. It's the devil's work, and the poor believe in hell. The humans like you living on this place, the poor always believe in hell. Hmm? Where was your conscience? You showed me your mother of forgiveness. Where was your conscience, Lucy? Where was it? When Sandra brought me into this house, I saw it. I was captivated by your beauty. Yes, I had love for you. I looked at you and I was, I was gone. But then I remember when my mom used to tell me that the true beauty of a woman, she said that the true beauty of a woman is not in her outward appearance, but in her character. That is exactly what I have found. Exactly. As for you, I will make sure that my back is still. Take you out of this house. I will work on my every single thing is possible. You are not going to leave this house. I do not care where you are. And I do not have any mind or feelings for you. We can so much. Sandra, it's the work of the devil. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was controlled by the devil. I'm so sorry. Ask the devil to give you a pocket. Since you have to mention it. This world is a small place. Do you know that Clement is actually not blind? Clement is very rich. In fact, he's the Clementino the billionaire we'll be hearing about in this town. Oh, he told you already. I knew all this world. I don't understand. What do you mean you knew all this world? Yes, I know. I know it's Clementinus. Oh my goodness. Dora, why didn't you tell me now? You're wicked. Why didn't you let me know? I didn't tell Sandra either. I wanted him to study your characters and choose what he wanted for himself. But babe, you fucked up. Your character was so irritating. Do you know he told me in confidence that you were the one he wanted? 
That's why I stayed so long in that house. To see if he would change. But you never did. Oh my God. What the hell you would have told me? You would have told me and I was and saying... And you what? So you pretend to love him and endanger his life after two consecutive outbreaks? Baby, I am not that wicked. Oh God. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Do you know he owns the house we've been living in all this while I've been paying rent to the same man I bully on a daily basis? <sighs> Clementine is a dawn. I am not surprised anyways. He owns a lot of houses in that estate. Tara. Mm -hmm. Tara, please help me beg him. He has asked me to leave his house. Please beg him to allow me to stay for a while before I can get a place of my own. Please. You see, this is a very difficult thing to do. I mean, you dealt with Clement even in my presence. How do you want me to beg him? I know I dealt with him, but that's in the past now. Look, I have changed. I promise, I have changed. I am no more that Lucy people used to know. I'm a changed Lucy. Just help me beg him. Please do this for your friend. I'm not assuring you, I will just try and talk to him. I fucked up. I fucked up. <sighs> you see, you put yourself together. It's okay. You see, where do I begin to forgive you? Hmm? Tell me, Lucy. Where do I begin? All the things you've done to me. Is it the shirt that I stained mistakenly? And you swore that I was paying? Or your iPhone that I broke? And you broke my head and landed me in the hospital? Where do I begin? Is it all the insults and humiliations that you caused me? All the things you did to me? You see, your heart is dark. Your heart is evil. And I don't want to ever see you again. I don't want to ever talk to you again. And I don't want to ever talk about this. Leave my house. Use my door and get out. Sandra, so that please let me talk to him, please. I'm really, really sorry. Clement, please. Oh. I actually came with her to beg. But I am speechless. I don't even know what else to say. All the things she did to me was way before you came to the picture. I do not want you to get involved. Lucy, I said. Use my door and get out of here. A billionaire that God gave to me. How? Lucy, it's okay. You just have to put yourself together. You know when they say your village people are following you, I am the village people that followed myself. Lucy, don't. Lucy it's okay. Stop crying. What do you are not expecting him to forgive you just like that after everything you did to him. It's okay. What do I do? 
How did I lose him? Oh, how did I lose a good man? How did I lose a rich man? Oh, how did I lose a good man? Oh. You see, stop crying. Wait. Are you sure it's not the cause that man placed on me? What cause? Everything you see, it's a lie. Will you forgive yourself? What is it? Babe, I swear, you look so beautiful. You see, your kind of guy is what I would like to date. Please, if you don't mind, can I have your number? Please. If you don't mind, can I have your number? Is there every girl you see on the street you approach? Do I look like your class? Do I look like your type? Do I look like I'm in your league? From my shoe to my hair, you can't even afford it. I'm very expensive. I'm too expensive for you. Next time you stop me and talk to me on the street, you won't like what I'll do to you. Stupid man. Are you... Are you Think. What did I do to deserve this? You will never find any man in your life. This is your bad attitude. I lay a course on you today. Back to the sender. Every course you have placed on me, I will turn it back to you. Stupid man. Look at this beautiful girl. Oh, God. Oh, I. What if I'm what you believe in you? Tell me is this woman I will have? I can't keep up. It's so dark. Why would you do such a thing? It's the cause. It's the cause. Oh. Hey. It's the cause. Oh. Hey. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Stop crying. I'm finished. Lucy, put yourself together. I didn't do this to myself. I didn't do this to myself. Lucy, I'm finished. Lucy, I'll die. Lucy, please. Stand I'll up. die. Get up. Don't tell me to stand up. Don't tell me to stand up. I want to kill myself. Lucy, you can't see. Oh, Lucy, get up. No, it's okay. No, no, Lucy. Just go and take a mortuary where you put me because it's my dead body you will carry from this place. You are not going to die. I don't think I can survive this. You see, you are not going to die. It's okay, get up. You see, get up, it's you okay. You don't understand. You're not in my shoes. You can never understand. You I'm in pain, I'm, I'm hurt. I lost a good man. A good man with money. You see, do you understand? I wish I could have the opportunity to talk to Clement. I would have shown him how sorry I am. It's, it's so painful to lose such a person. It's so painful. Oh, God, Lucy. This should serve as a lesson to you. Do you just have to change your attitude in case of next time? Everything about a woman is not all about her appearance, but her manners, the way you talk and the thing you do. Men are so particular about that. It's all about the beauty. Clement. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see you. I, I knew you loved me from, from from the day you set your eyes on me. And I know it's that love that has brought you back to me. I'm so sorry for all your wrongs. Henceforth, I will be the woman you have always craved for. I would love you with all my heart and I would cherish you. I, I love you so much. I do. promise to you that I would reward you handsomely. If you played along and kept my secrets. Yeah. What you have there is 20 million now. Hey! You can do with it what you will. And that is my promise fulfilled. Clement! 20 million era for me? Yes. Hey! This is too much! 
children and God will bless you. God will bless you for me. Why is he in your nera? Clement. Clement. Clement, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clement. Please, Clement, 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 oh no, Clement, forgive me. Aren't you again? I will never treat you badly again. If I have learned my lessons, I will, I will never treat anybody badly again. Please forgive me, Clement. Forgive me. I love you so much, Clement. Clement. Hey. Clement. 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 Twenty million. Hey. God will bless you. What if everything you see, it's a lie? Will you forgive yourself? Will you take the pains back? I don't understand why you must be hard on me. I don't get this. Tell me why. Why? I don't understand. Can't you see that I'm blind? Can't you see that I'm blind? Can't you see that I'm blind? Take life easy of me. I'm not the kind so who will love you like that. Which your character is Please. It's too late, madam. The court have given me warrant to see this premises and you are meant hey. to live with nothing. Arista, please, temper justice with mercy. I I know I'm owing, but I will definitely pay. Please, if I leave now, I don't have anywhere to go. Please, Barista. Well, lady, at this point in time, the court order must be carried out, so maybe. Barista, please, I'm begging you. Please, what about my things? After you, madam. Finished though, your girlfriend is gone. What do you mean by you're finished? I the don't men from the court locked up my premises. I don't know what to do. What? This is serious. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm confused. They locked up the house, all my things, everything is inside. I couldn't come out with anything. My clothes, everything is inside the house. This is wickedness now. Clement has just paid me evil for evil. I am so devastated. I don't know what to do. My life is finished. Sorry. Sorry. Dora. Please. Can I stay in your place till I get a place of my own? Lucy, I'm sorry. It's not possible. You can't stay here. My fiance is inside and he doesn't like visitors. Even, even if it's just for one night, please. I don't have anywhere to go. Lucy, Lucy it's not possible. I don't want to offend my fiance. You can't stay here. Dora, I'm your friend. Don't, don't do this to me. Even if everybody abandons me, no you now. I don't have anywhere to please, go. Please. You have to use the door. Dora. Lucy, you have to use the door. Are you sending me out of your house? Lucy, please. Lucy, I'm sorry, you don't. Lucy, go now. Lucy, stand up and leave my house. I don't want to offend my fiance. Lucy, go. Lucy, leave now. You're coming here to cry.
cry like I'm the one that put you in this condition. Lucy, go! To shout. Ah. Was I the one that put you in this condition? What's all this? You're coming here to cry. I don't understand. Please go! What is it? I don't know, I don't know. So, it's only so sharp pain. Ah, oh, my leg, my leg, my leg hurts. What? Ah, what the what the was wrong. Doctor, please, what is happening with my woman? What's going on with her? Ah. Doctor, please, what is the problem with my woman? Is it arthritis? Ah. Or what, what is your medical diagnosis saying? Please, there must be something you can do by now. It's already taking too much time. Calm down, Mr. Clement, she'll be fine. Okay? Please, uh, I hate to see my wife. This is fine. So please, please, just do anything you can. She'll be fine. Please. Please. Mr. Clement, she'll be fine. Okay? Why the nurse will come in and administer painkiller on her? Why we run a test to see what the issue is with her leg? Just speak more. Sorry, sorry. Okay? Baby, please. Baby, be strong. Baby, be strong. Please. Oh my God. Please hold it up. Okay, okay. Do you know what? I'm going to get some painkillers from Please, okay. Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, please, there must be something you can do about this. There must be something you can do. She's in pain. She's taking all kinds of painkillers and she's still in pain. Please. Okay, what is going on? Just tell me. Whatever it is, if it's more money you need, I will do it. Just tell me what it is you need. Please. See, Mr. Clement, I will be very honest with you. Okay. From the test you put on them now, there seems not to be any kind of illness. No trace of any illness. She seems perfectly okay. Medically, what are you talking about? What are you, can't you hear her screaming all the way from here? Can't you hear her? There must be something you can do to fix. Obviously, we can see her legs are bad. We, we, can, we, we can see. Please, if you can run the test again, just do whatever you have to do. Please, and beg you. Calm down. Pay more. Calm down. Sir. Please. Please. Calm down. Calm down. You see, we are trying our best. Okay? Like I said before. Alright? So, medically, she's sound. But if you want us to run the test again, we will run the test again. I will ask the nurse to attend to our wife, prepare some injections. All right? Okay. Don't worry, she'll be fine today. This one. Mama, eh? No, I don't know what to do. Mama, we were just coming back from the village. Clement was working at the gate, but the gate man was taking too much time. So I decided to come out and open the gate myself. And this happened to me, Mama. Sharp pain from nowhere. All of a sudden, I'm going to feel my leg. Mama, there's so much pain. I don't know what to do, Mama. Help me, please. Call the doctor to help me. Clement, 
<laughs> Man, you fool, man. You are a ritualist. I know it. God will never forgive you. You are a ritualist. I am not a ritualist for goodness sake. Stop tagging me with that phrase. Clement, <sighs> undo whatever you have done to my daughter. If not, the whole hospital will hear us. They will hear all this. Please tell your mother to take her hands off of me. I am not going to leave you. Honey, please, just. Can you just take your hands off me? I will not leave you. I'm not going I don't to like leave this. You. I'm not going to what leave you. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? This man you are seeing pretended to be blind. All of a sudden, my daughter came yesterday with him in the village. And my daughter told me how rich he is. Today, my daughter is lying critically in the hospital. Is it not obvious that he is a ritualist? Is it not obvious? I'm not going to leave him. And I am not a ritualist. I am not a ritualist. Only God in heaven knows how I feel inside my heart. I am not a ritualist. Stop calling God. You don't know anything about God. Stop calling God, Clement. Stop calling God. Madam, madam, madam. Calm down. Calm down. Hmm? Is it now? Just let him be. Just let him be. That's enough. Okay? Is it enough? Just, just let him be. Daughter, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sorry, mom. So much pain. Sorry, sorry, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, mama, she'll be fine. Okay? Sorry, sorry. Nurse! My daughter. What about your friend, Lucy? Is he okay? But where is this coming from? Can I ever be happy in life? Why Sandra? What kind of sudden illness is this? God, you have to save my love. How can I explain this to people? Because all fingers are pointing at me. Everything looks like I'm really the one that did it. I can't blame her poor mother, but God knows that my hands are clean. Got your call, I rushed them. What, what, what's the problem? Sandra, what is it? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what to call this one. No, from nowhere. Pain from nowhere. Pain from where? From nowhere. It's from on my leg. I don't know what? where this is from. I can't Are you still asking pain. where it's from? Eh? It's the handbook of that ritualist. But it will never work. All these plans against you will never work. You'll be fine. Stop crying. He just wanted to use this drug for rituals, but he will not succeed. Yes. I know, I know. The delivery of the evil plans he has against you will never work. It will never work. But you'll be fine, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm call the doctor. Mama, call the doctor and let the doctor come attend to her. Let me go and come. Oh, oh. Just call the doctor. Sorry, sir. Doctor! Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Ah! Mama, hurry up! Hi, Clement. Told the security to let you in. Have you gotten your bags? I did. Thank you. So what do you want? Clement, I'm here to, to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. I believe God allowed all that happened for a purpose. Probably so we can reunite again. Clement, I love you so much and I'm still very much available for you. I want you back in my arms. I know you love me. Look, look, I know Sandra is down in the hospital, but 
When one door closes, another one opens. Give us a chance, please. As long as Sandra is still alive, she will come back to me. And God will vindicate her. Because she has a good heart. Because she's a good woman. And I'm not going to give up on her. Look, Clement, I know. Lucy, get out of my house. Get out. So let me push you out of here. Get out! So I'm lucky in love. God, why am I so unlucky? Why? Why must it end like this? Why? before she left my house. How come are you telling me a different thing? No, doctor, you have to do something. You have to do something. You have to do something. <laughs> Madam, from the look of things, I will have to refer you to another specialist hospital. What? Yes. Another hospital? Yes. Oh. Because, I mean, look at it. All the medical attention and treatment we gave to her, I heard is still deteriorating because all the treatment we gave her is proven abortive. I mean, I heard is deteriorating daily. So the best thing. I, I said it. I said it. Clement wants to use my daughter for ritual, but the God that I serve will never allow that to happen. He will never permit it. God, no. Okay, okay, she'll be fine. <laughs> it's okay. 
progress we're talking about your legs now you have boils on your face it is back I am not supposed to touch you by mama It's not enough. She can't walk. Now she has developed strength poses. You and your co ritualist have succeeded in rendering my daughter useless. Is it not enough for you? What are you doing here? Eh? Please, please don't stop it. Just stop it. I am not a ritualist, okay? I'm a genuine businessman. Please stop embarrassing me like this. If you don't know about me, go and ask about me. I don't want to ever see you close to my daughter again. Have I made myself clear? Now get off from this place. Get out. Get out! Get off from this place. Are you not hearing me? Get out! Get out! Mm. Let me see when you come back here again. <coughs> Sorry. Mama. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, scratch. Please don't. Mama. Sorry. Scrap it. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh my God! Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Make it stop. Don't scratch. Jesus. Lucy, the worst has happened to me. What is this, Mama? Lucy. Sana, what is this on your face? The worst has happened. The worst has happened. Look at your face, face. Look at her face, Sandra. Sorry, what is this now? I don't know. I don't know what God is. <laughs> Mama will just, Mama will just stay. I'll just complain about the leg pain. All of a sudden, this strange, strange pain just hit my forehead and then there's something sort of growing on my face. Mama was the one that noticed this. Now the doctor said I should not scratch it. It's eating me all over! Oh my God! Sorry. Sorry. Make it stop! Make it stop. Your hand go up that level. I know. I know. I know. Mama, what do we do? What's the way out? No, the doctor is not saying anything. The doctor is not saying anything. Yes, make it stop. I'm make it stop. Look at what you did to my girlfriend's face. Is this no wickedness? Can somebody just scratch it? Stop! Grab it off! Grab it all off! Ah! Mama, I'm going to scream. Mama, what's the doctor saying? What's the way out? What's the solution? are following me about. First it was Sandra's legs, now strange boxes. God, what is all this? What kind of bad luck is this? And to add salt to the injury, her mother asked me never to come close to her daughter again. God, what did I do? What did I do? Clement. Give me the opportunity to show you how deep I love you. Please. Why? Why? Why so unlucky? Why so unfortunate? Why? Why? Look, I am the answer to your questions. Just give us a chance. Let me show you how truly I love you. Let me take care of you, Clement, please. Maybe you're right. Could you go to someone to next and just be together? Maybe this is what God wants. He doesn't want me to be with her. That's what you want, no problem. 
and they don't want me either. She doesn't want me. Baby, I'm here for you. Alright? If you don't want you, I want you. Come. Now that I have you all to myself, I will do everything to protect this love. Baby, I'll take care of you. Okay? to kill her because because of Greek. Yeah, my fiance is rich and I wanted him all to myself. That's why I wanted to kill her. I'm so sorry. I, I, the pain is on her leg and the pain on her leg and the boils on her face. I, I caused it. I was, I was just jealous. I'm sorry, doctor. You're very heartless. You just imagine the condition you put the feeling in. Huh? See, whatever it is you do to her, undo it now or else I'll call the police. Mm -hmm. I, I, have, I have the solution. If, if we burn this, she'll be fine. The boils, the pain on her leg, everything will disappear. She'll be healed. Please, please. For your own sake, I hope you're not lying to me. I hope you're not lying to me. Because if you are, I will make sure you spend the rest of your miserable life in jail. Once we burn this, she'll be fine. Thankfully, I came in and saved the situation. Who is she? The way she says she's your daughter's friend. My daughter's friend? My name is Lucy. What? Lucy!
calling her name, no sense, so who know nothing about the hotel. This one is really bad. What has been Lucy all along? <gasps> she did this to me. Why not? It has been Lucy all along. It has been Lucy! What have I done to her to deserve this? Hey! Hey! What have I done to her to deserve hey! this kind of punishment? Go for it! So where is she? Well, as we speak, she's roaming the streets. That that's Sasa, right, man. Mm -hmm. Thank God, Lucy, Mama. I don't deserve this. Not from her. Oh, oh, oh. She has Anna. watched me struggle. She has watched me cry every night, and she's responsible for my pain. She's a devil. She's a devil. She has not even begun to suffer. My God, behind everything. Suffer! Jesus Christ! The good thing here is that you're okay now. Yes! Alright, you're suffer. fine. She does the most She's okay. Yes! Okay. <sighs> so, she has run mad. this happen? What happened? How did she become whole all of a sudden? My son, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for accusing you wrongly. I never knew your hands were clean of this one. Please forgive me. And as for how it happened, I'm also as shocked as you are. I never knew Lucy was behind everything. I was just at the hospital. I was sleeping. Apparently the doctor had administered my painkillers and the sleeping pills. So I didn't see her when she walked in. But then the doctor said he caught her red-handed, trying to use the charm to kill me. And then when he noticed what was going on, he started to record her for evidence. And he threatened to call the police if she doesn't start talking. She confessed to being behind everything that I was going through. The pains on my leg, the boys on my face, and every other thing that I was going through. She said she was there to finish me up. But thank God that the doctor caught her. She confessed that she knew exactly what to do before. For me to get well. And she said that if only she is allowed to bond the charm, that I'll be whole again. So the doctor dragged her outside and insisted that she burns it. All of a sudden, I just felt this, this instant relief. The pain was gone, the boys disappeared. And then my mommy walked in, and the doctor told us everything and showed us pictures of what she was about to do before he caught her. And guess what? He said while she was born in the charm, she became mad instantly. And as we speak, Lucy is roaming the streets as a Mahaguma. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
So, Lucy has been the one behind this all this while? Yes. Mama, do you see it? Have you seen it with your own eyes now? You are accusing me falsely, going around and saying all manner of things against me. Can you see it with, with your own eyes? You accuse me wrongly, but God has vindicated me. My son, please forgive me. Forgive me. I never knew. Lucy is here for. She's here for. That is why we are here. Clement, please forgive my mother. I know she has been awful to you. I know she has treated you badly and she accused you of something that you're innocent of. But she's my only family. And I don't see myself living this new life without her. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. Please, stop crying. Thank This marriage is blessed. You will give birth to a boy and a girl. You shall not lack more money in your account. All the days of your life shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Mama, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.